good morning. We are starting Vlogmas downtown today. It's Saturday, which is one of my favorite days of the week. And we're going to the farmer's market, but it is a special Christmas version of the farmer's market. And I've never been, so it might actually be the exact same and not a special Christmas version, but they're marketing it as a special Christmas version. I have my mom with us. Hi. Pushing the stroller. Mm -hmm. And we have the twins. Me and the twins go to the farmer's market every every Saturday morning. It's our Saturday morning tradition. Allie sleeps in, me and the boys go on an adventure. We get coffee, we get some fresh produce. Sometimes we buy gifts for people, so might be doing that today. Here we go. We got a scone for the boys. <laughs> He's unsure about it. Oh, but sure enough that he wants the bag of it. I went with an iced gingerbread latte with a little bit. Very festive. Good morning. I'm just vlogging on my phone because Sam and her mom took the boys. Elsie, that's my own. That's my eggnog. Elsie just took a look at my eggnog. <laughs> you want some eggnog? You silly goose. You're a beautiful little doodle, eh? So I just made my coffee and came up to the bed. We've been exhausted from the trip. And yesterday, Sam slept in. I got up with the boys and she slept till 9.30. So she got a really good catch up on her sleep. So today was my turn. I still woke up at 7.30. <laughs> But I laid in the bed until they were gone. So I was like at least resting. And then I just made my coffee and I'm going to sit in the bed and read. So I've been reading the manor house. I got it right before the, do you see what Rosie's doing? Chini, what are you doing Chini? Chini. <laughs> um, it's really good. I got it right before the trip and I started it on the trip and I'm into it, it's really good. I haven't been into a thriller in a while, so if you're looking for one, that's a good one. So now, me and Elsie Doodle and Rosie are gonna have our little coffee. My best doodle. Oh, I love you, Doody. You're so good. And um, put the yule log on and read our book. Well, my book, it's not your book. Yes. Oh, it's so good. Also, Rosie. I only ended up buying one thing at the market, and it was this wreath, which my mom has pointed out is like heart shaped. I think mostly because I. Hey, mom. Oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> I think I squished it a little in the car, so now it's a little misshapen. Oh, it's prickly though. It's real. It's beautiful. I love it. So, it's the only thing we got at the market. So, two things. First, we found this at the market last night. It's a little ornament filled with treats. So I thought we could put it on the tree for all the girls to share on Christmas morning. It's tons of little dog treats. So cute. Also, <laughs> last night we were joking. So Rosie has not been spayed yet. She is two and they said to let her go through two heat cycles they recommended for her growth before spaying her. So we did that and then we had her spay scheduled and it was canceled. I forget the reason, the first reason. Oh, the vet had COVID. So then rescheduled it. The time comes for spay number two attempt. It's canceled because I think the thing with the equipment, they needed a new piece of equipment for surgery. So we're like, oh my gosh, Rosie, you keep getting under your spay, you lucky girl. And then last night we were joking because it's actually scheduled for Thursday. And I was like, I have no faith that Rosie will be spayed. <laughs> this is just the keeps going on and keeps getting canceled. And lo and behold, this morning, I see the vet calling and I was like, no, it's just a reminder. And then I answered and the girl was like, hi, I'm calling about Rosie's spay. And I thought, okay, it's just a reminder. Uh, unfortunately, we lost a tech, vet tech, so we have to postpone it again and I just started laughing and I was like I'm so sorry for laughing it's just so funny because we were just saying this is going to be cancelled again and she was like oh I'm so sorry I'm glad you can laugh and we're like oh it's fine it's nothing like it's out of their control anyway 
it's so funny because we're like Rosie's manifesting not getting straight or me maybe it's me because I keep saying Rosie's not getting straight we do love the vet we go to so we're not we're gonna go anywhere else it's a great vet we've gone there forever with Lily so we no matter where we move we keep going to the same vet and uh it's great so eventually Rosie will get spayed but I don't think it's going to be right now so <laughs> Rosie's out of her spank Poor Rosie. Actually, lucky Rosie. The girls are busy right now because I filled their Kongs. Well, they're not real Kongs. I don't know. This is a different brand. If you have a dog, I would recommend this. I don't know the brand, so can't tell you. But it came filled with this disc treat. So I think the you first can get time, inserts to Yeah, that, like, they, they ate them quite fast. So I find filling them with a <laughs> good one, duty. Just any treats, stuffing them. Sometimes apple slices, carrots. Uh, but today they got beef liver because we had some. So it keeps them very busy for a very long time, which is nice on rainy days when they can't get out and do anything. They should be a rosy. And Snoopy takes hers away. She, she doesn't like to go near the other dogs. So I did some organizing of the pantry today. <laughs> it doesn't look organized, but it was worse. So at least everything doesn't fall out now and like it pulls out you know so that's good found some things i didn't know were in there and cleaned up the kitchen i'm gonna steam these up for the boys carrots and broccoli and then they're gonna have some avocado and i had this coffee this morning we got it in new york at a cafe so it was really delicious i like getting coffee on vacation because then you come back and you get to have a nice little coffee and think about it Yes. I love that that's a tradition you do. It is. It's so nice. You it's a, a good lot. souvenir. I got three beans, except I think Blue Bottle's a chain, so then I regretted it. I didn't oh. know. I wanted to get local ones. Yeah, it's a chain. I didn't think, but that's okay. We still don't have it here, so. No, we don't. They look oh. good. I'm sleepy, guys. Aw. You are living the dream with a Snoopy, a book. Festive bubbly. What do you think of the new flavor? It's pretty good. I actually like it. It's funny that it's a good collab. Uh, yeah, well, he's like their spokesperson. Have you ever seen all the commercials where he's like, it's not bubbly, it's bubbly? Why? Well, he, I don't know why he's their spokesperson, but it's very smart to do a Christmas collab with Michael Bublé yes. because he's yes. the king of Christmas in my books. Not an ad. <laughs> No, no, we just like the cans are cute too. Oh, hello, oh, hello, nice to meet nice you. Paw. Nice to That's meet you. Nice That's paw. a nice girl. She got to stay inside for Lucas this week. Yeah, sorry, Poor Will. Snoopy. So we and the twins are at the mall, just doing a little bit of shopping. Allie is also supposed to be vlogging. We'll see if she is, but she is gone to this area called Bears Lake, like a shopping district, to do a little Christmas shopping. From what I hear, I just bought some holiday things. I'll show you in a minute. I am not an Ugg girly. Like, I never have been, not since like 2009. But I find it very, very shocking, um, those plastic things. Like, it's quite a look. Would you wear this? Please let me know. I came to the mall though to specifically go to Lush so that I can have a Christmas bath later if I get everything done that I need to get done. My Christmas tree is all lit up! Snack time! Does anyone else find that malls are full of shoe stores and jewelry stores, like fancy jewelry stores? I feel like there's a million of each and that's almost it at the mall. Okay, this might be a weird clip, but I didn't want to obviously look at my phone while I'm driving. So I just put it on my lap and hit record. And uh, then I thought I could talk to you without illegalness, you know? Um, so I am currently driving to Giant Tiger. If you don't know, or if you know, <laughs> I'm moving this, you might not be able to see me, um, what Giant Tiger is. 
you'll probably be like, why are you going to Giant Tiger? Um, okay, so Giant Tiger is like a very cheap store. Uh, is the best way to describe it, really. Like, it's a really cheap store. And the mascot is a tiger, and it's very yellow. And I used to go with my grandparents when I was little, all the time. And they had a 99 cents shop. Does anyone remember that? Anyway, last year, I worked with Giant Tiger on my personal Instagram. And I was like, okay, this is great. Because I haven't been to Giant Tiger in a long time. And we actually found so many gems there. Like, it's really come a long way from the days when I used to go to Giant Tiger. But I found an advent calendar for the dogs and the cats last year. It is their favorite one they've ever had. We usually get them some every year. And this was by far like their favorite and they would all five come running every night whenever I would even just get them off the shelf. They were obsessed. It's like these freeze dried, but they looked very cheap, but it must be really yummy. So today I am on a mission, even though it's past December 1st, to go find these advent calendars and hope that they have them a giant tiger and that is where I'm currently going but while I'm going to giant tiger I thought I'd also potentially stop at home sense and maybe winners and then I have to pick up some wine because we are working with a wine company on Instagram to do some stories and I've actually never tried this wine but I'm really excited too I love all wine they have red and a white so I'm gonna get both and I have not had red wine in oh, since California so 2017 was the last sip of red wine I have so we actually were au pairs in California if you didn't know for the same family the two of us and they were amazing and we are still friends with them to this day and during that time I drank a considerable amount of red wine because in the US wine is ridiculously cheap compared to Canada like bizarre like it was like four dollars for a bottle of wine which was crazy so it was so tempting so every night we'd like have a little glass of red wine and I had severe migraines at the time and I thought it was the red wine so I stopped drinking red wine but then I also shortly after that when we got back realized I could not have soy for gluten so I don't know if it was actually the red wine so, I'm going to do a test tonight if I do pick up the red wine. Having a glass of red wine after five years and seeing if I get a migraine. It's a test. Also, she's probably going to cut all this. I don't even know if it's recording, but I'm not going to look down because I'm not a distracted driver. Um, sorry. Should I go to the... No. I'm talking to myself now. Um, oh, yeah. When we were in New York... I was accidentally glutened and you know what not much happened so I if you don't know you don't know this I cut out gluten and soy at the same time because I was having all these very bizarre symptoms I used to have so many symptoms like extreme nausea all the time and just like just like things that shouldn't be happening to you every day oops shoot oh um, they're gonna pull me over shoot 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 they might I went on a yellow. Um, I was having all these very bizarre symptoms like nausea and migraines and blocked ears, like super dizzy, very, very blocked ears and rapid heart rate. So that I was diagnosed with inappropriate sinus tachycardia, which I do not have because I had like rapid heart rate all the time randomly and then after I cut out gluten and soy it stopped so my nurse practitioner was like I believe this is a dietary thing I don't believe that, that you actually like have something and she was correct so once I kept a food diary she was like you need to cut out gluten and I knew about the soy because I figured that out from soy sauce because I was getting extreme pain after I would eat sushi and I was like there's nothing in sushi to give me pain it was the soy sauce. Anyway, so then <laughs> I cut out gluten and soy at the same time. Within three weeks, all of my symptoms had disappeared and I felt amazingly new and way better. But 
I just believed in my heart it was gluten and soy. And I had never really been glutened and just avoided it since because I was so scared of feeling that sick again. Anyway, I was glutened because I accidentally was given a non-gluten-free bun in New York. And I realized it after eating a few bites and nothing happened. So I'm thinking I might try it again because life would be a lot easier and cheaper if I didn't have to eat gluten-free. Plus, I could have dark beer again. So this could be a blessing in disguise that I was glutened. Um, so I'm going to experiment with gluten and red wine, not soy, because I know for sure soy gives me extreme pain. And often I'll be like, oh, I'll just have a bite if Sam's having fake meat that has soy. And I do have a bite and it's like, oh, it's not worth it. it I can't have soy. So there's my rant for you, my rambles. I'm going to go now, but I, I also... I don't want to look down. I'm going to be at a red light and then I can turn this off. I'm at the red light. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for chatting. <laughs> My mom left. She ended okay. up heading home. Oh, nice standing. Yeah. A little earlier than she anticipated because it was dark and rainy. It's so dark outside that my Christmas lights are on a timer. So they're supposed to go on when it gets dark out, like at dusk. And they went on a little after 3.30 this afternoon. I decided that I was going to stop editing because I've been editing all of our Christmas New York footage and I'm gonna do these ornament crafts. Maybe Ali and I will both do it with the twins because we actually got these last year and didn't end up doing them. But there's no time quite like the present. Let's do this. It's such a weird... Oh yeah, that's what I made the animals with. Yeah. Look at that little hand! That was easy. Good job! He wants to help. Wanna see it? Wanna see it? That's your hand, see? Oh, yeah, you did put your hand. Show me the other one. Look at that big hand. That's a big hand. You have big hands. Hey, Moosey. Look at them. What's you today's do book yeah. going to be, honey? Come see. Oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. What's under there? Good job. Oh, good work. Here you go. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Good job. Ooh, five little reindeer. Time to light the advent candle. Ready, Allie? Ready. I think I shared this before, but one of my great grandmothers had once given us, when I was a child, an advent candle like this, and we would light it every day and watch it obviously and i had tried to get one last year but all the ones i found online were super expensive and then randomly i found this one for 6.99 at a pharmacy here in the city and i was that's very cheap i know the ones i found were like 30 plus dollars wow. on etsy so i was really really happy with this and now it's my little advent treat. I think it's so cute and like such a kind of unique advent. I don't know, I just like it. I, I like the vibe. I still have some work things to do, but I think I'm gonna go take a bit of a festive bath. I went to Lush and I got some bath bombs. So I have two options and I'm gonna read in the bath. And I'm so excited because my back hurts from baby wearing in New York the whole trip. So it's gonna feel so nice on my back to just sit and enjoy. I'm so excited. So my two bath bomb options. I got whatever this one is, like a pretty snowflake. Or, oh it smells very strong. Or I think maybe I'll go with this one. It's just a cutie little gold gingerbread man. These are not available in Canada, so I have my mom bring them back every time she drives to the States. They're so good. 
they are the perfect little pick-me-up because there's not a ton of caffeine but there's caffeine so it's a perfect little pick-me-up for the evenings because i'm exhausted by the time the twins go to bed but like i want to do stuff in the evening so it gives me that little bit of oomph to do stuff in the evening <laughs> forgot to end the vlog tonight so thank you for watching vlogmas day six we'll be back tomorrow with another video